Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to combine power series together. So let's take a look at this example. So uh, we have a power series from n equal to 2 to infinity n times n minus 1 c n x to the n plus 2 times power series from 2 to infinity n times n minus 1 times c n x to the n minus 2 plus a power series from 1 to infinity n times c n x to the n. Right? So uh, in order to combine this, these power series together, what you're going to do in you want to do this first is to uh, make sure that you are the exponent, which is this. And they need to start at the same uh, exponent. And what do I mean? They start at the same exponent. If you plug in n equal 2 into here, you get x to the second. And then you do the same thing for this power series, you get x to the no zero. And then for this one, you get x to the first. So they do not start at the same uh, exponent. So that's why uh, you have to make it to start at the same exponent. In this case, x to the second is the highest exponent, so you have to run out uh, terms for the other exponents. So that means that you have to run out two terms for this exponent and one term for this exponent to get to x to the second. Alright, so um, let me show you how you do that. It's simple. Alright, so uh, for the first term, which is this one, I just rewrite it. For the second term, because it's already in form of x to the second. For the second term, which is this one, what I have in blue, I when I plug in uh, n equal 2, I got x to the 0, right? So uh, I have to run out terms for this series. So plug in 2, I have 2 times 2 times 1 times c2. Uh, whenever I have uh, n in this, I have to re uh, replace it by 2, okay? So after I plug in 2, I got 4c2 x to the 0. And then for the next term, so I'm at n equal 2. Now for the next term, n equals 3. Plug in 3 into here, I get x to the first. So I want, I want it to be x to the second. So x to the first, I have to run out term again. So plug in 3, I get 3, uh, 2 times 2 times 3, 3 minus 1, c3 x to the first. So I got this term. Okay. And then the next term will be n equals 4. So when I plug in n, uh, n equals 4 into this one, I get x to the second, okay? Which is what I want. Then I'm going to stop here and then rewrite the whole power series. So I have power series from uh, 4 to infinity, and then rewrite everything inside here, okay? Now for the last term, as I mentioned earlier, uh, you when you plug in 1, you have x to the first. So you have to run out one term. Similarly, uh, what you do, what you did, for uh, the blue over here, you plug in uh, 1 and equals 1 for, uh, into the whole series, okay? So I have 3c1 x to the first, and then I move to the next n. So in, when n equals 2, plug in 2, I have x to the second, which is what I want. So I'm going to keep the whole power series. So I have power series from 2 to infinity, 3 times n times x, to c n x to the n, right? So this is uh, <clears throat> all the power series. So once you uh, make it to start at the same end, the the next step is to re-index the base here. So if you notice they do not have the same base. So you have to re-index it. So if uh, as I notice I have n equal two and n equal two, but this one I have n start at four. So it's like it's good to re-index this. To two instead of reading index the uh, this one and this one to four okay so you could reindex index those two but i just want to do the one that has the least work okay all right so i let me see i rewrite this okay rewrite it and then rewrite this x to the zero is one so just a constant then rewrite this okay and then for this one re-index it to n to make it n to make n start at two so down here if you want to make it start at two just make it start at two and then because you <clears throat> in for this one and this one you reduce it down to two so you lower you lower it down uh, to two by two units for every single end inside here, you have to increase it by two units. Basically, you do the opposite 
to what you do here, okay? <clears throat> All right, so I lower two, so inside here I have two, okay, just rewrite two, and then for n, I have n plus two, for this n, I have n plus two minus one, which is n plus one, and then for this one, I have c n plus two, and then x to the n, because n is, um, in my n plus two minus two, which is x to the n, all right? So again, whatever you do to this term, do the opposite to every single term, uh, every single n inside. Simple. And then rewrite this, because they already in form of uh, n equal to, they have the same index, all right? So after you index, you notice that they will have the same base, and they have the same exponent. Okay, that's a quick check. All right, now the next step is to combine like terms. So I have constant and con I have constant here, just be write it, okay? Um, combine this together, because they have x to the first, so I have this term. And then for the power series, uh, factor out uh, power series and put x to the end at the end, okay? And then rewrite the rest in parentheses, so I have n times n minus 1, I have it here, okay? And over here, I have 2 times that. I have 2 times this. And then over here, I have 3 times that. No, oh, exclude it to the end, okay? I have 3 times that, okay? So that's how you can buy power series together. And this is your final answer, that's it. If you find the video is helpful, feel free to give it a like, share, and subscribe to my channel in order to receive the most current videos. Don't forget to hit the bell so that you won't miss anything. I'll see you next time.